Whether you're a beginner or an advanced musician, the never-ending chase for gear has plagued us all at some point, and for many of us, it still does. But does having the latest and greatest equipment really make a difference in your music, or is it just a distraction from what truly matters, your creativity and skill? It's time to answer the question we've all been wondering. Does gear really matter? Okay, so I've teased you enough. Let's answer that question. Does gear matter? The answer is yes and no. Wait, let me explain, okay? I'm not trying to be extra here. I really mean that. It largely depends on where you're at in your musical journey. So you got beginner, intermediate, advanced, and so forth. And depending on where you're at in that spectrum will dictate if gear matters. And if it does matter, why does it matter, okay? The why is very, very important. Let's start with beginners. Here are a couple important reasons why gear matters as a beginner. Number one is inspiration. As a beginner, if your instrument does not inspire you, you will not practice and you will not play. And so therefore you will not develop and you'll most likely fall off your musical career, period. It just is what it is. If you're not inspired to play, you won't play. It could be the wrong color, the wrong headstock, the wrong brand. And from an advanced point of view, it could seem stupid, but as a beginner, it's not because you have to understand that something inspired you, something called you, something influenced you to want to pick up an instrument in the first place. Maybe it was a favorite TV show. Maybe it's a clip of someone you heard on Instagram or social media. Maybe it was an anime or something you watched and you loved the song. There's something that inspired you to want to play in the first place. So it's very important for you to search out a musical instrument that serves that inspiration to give you the boost that you need to get over a somewhat difficult phase when it comes to learning an instrument from scratch. The other important reason is technique. You gotta make sure as a beginner that you get a quality instrument Otherwise, you could harm yourself in technique or make it so difficult to play and learn that you just quit. So very important, okay? So gear does matter, but not because it's gonna make you some guru. No, gear matters as a beginner because again, one, it needs to inspire you. That's crucial. If you're not inspired, you're not having fun, you just won't play, period. Secondly, you gotta make sure that it's a quality instrument because if it's not a quality instrument, your technique will be bad or it'll be so hard to play or figure out that you just quit altogether. Now let's move on to intermediate. Does gear matter for intermediate players? This, in my humble opinion, is the spot where gear matters the least. Let me explain why. In the intermediate phase, you're no longer a beginner, so you've gotten over the hump of scales and basic core theory and whatnot, so you're in it. You're in it for the long haul, you're stuck, you got the bug, you're here. And at this stage, what's more important than gear is exploration. Let me explain what I mean by that. At this point in your musical journey, you know enough to be dangerous, but you don't know enough yet to really be an assassin. So at this point, start to explore you know, what are your influences? Who's inspiring you? As a piano player, I love listening to Robert Glasper, Keith Jarrett, Horace Silver, Bud Powell, Oscar Peterson, and there's some new synth heads too, like J3PO that really inspired me in terms of what I was doing from music production and, and keyboard stuff. So I highly recommend you to research your likes and your influences and what are you hearing that's, you know, piquing your interest and then take it the next crucial step is understand why, okay? The why is very, very, very important because the why will teach you how they achieve their sound. And when you've learned how your influences have achieved their sound, you can then take that knowledge and start to make it your own, incorporate it into your own sound, which leads to advanced players, which would be when gear matters probably the most. But again, not for the reasons you think. As an advanced player, you're now getting into the nitty gritty, right? The minutia. This is where feel becomes the utmost of importance. This is where inspiration becomes even more important. And the reason why it's not because you're a musical snob has nothing to do with that. It's you've, you've played enough and you've learned enough that you understand you've got facility among your instrument, you've got vocabulary, and now you're looking for specifics because you know how you wanna feel. This all leads to what I call the signature sound, okay? Every artist has their signature sound, right? Every well-developed pro musician has a signature sound, right? When you listen to like a Herbie Hancock versus a Chick Corea versus like a Red Garland versus like a Bill Evans, all great piano players, but they all have, they each have their own sound, whether it be how they did their solo lines, whether it's how they comp their chords, their signature harmonic patterns they use, these guys and gals all had their own signature sound after years of exploration and tinkering around that the gear can help facilitate that, but at the end of the day, that comes internally from the ear. So it's so important that as an advanced player that you get picky 
and that's where gear really starts to matter. So I can play any piano. I don't have to have a Nord. I can get a Roland or a Yamaha, or I can get a Korg. But like I said before, in my intermediate phase, I tried Korg, I tried Yamaha, I tried Roland, I tried all the sound, I tried everything because it was just a fun, exportive time for me just to figure out what do I even like. But now in this particular season of my journey, I'm very specific. I know kind of my patterns, my desires, my influences, and what sounds I wanna chase and what sounds I wanna go after. And it's not to say that I'm never gonna get a different piano. It's just to say that I, you know, every manufacturer has their own sound and I just resonate with the Nord pianos the most. And I, you know, it's been that way since 2017. So it's been seven years now. I don't really see myself changing because the manufacturers have their identity and it's very rare for a manufacturer to change the identity of their sound, right? Yamaha has been sounding like Yamaha for years. Same with Korg, same with Roland. And it doesn't make sense for them to change because that's their identity, right? You can think of these manufacturers as artists. Korg has made their name off their sound set. Same with Yamaha and Roland and Nord, so why would they change what's been working for so many years? Yes, you can improve and kind of make some nuances and adjustments, but at the end of the day, that core sound is who they are. So all I'm trying to say is as an advanced player, this is where gear really matters because you will spend extra money for something to feel right. Now, it's not to say that the expensive gear is where it's at and that's a whole a whole nother video, right? Is all expensive gear great and is you know inexpensive gear bad? That's a whole nother video what I, which I will make. Comment below if you're interested in me making that video. But at this stage, gear matters because you're looking for specifics. So again, it feels very important. This is where someone like a guitar player will buy a John Mayer signature strap versus the SE version because the necks are different, right? You have the I think seven and a half inch radius with the V, the deep V neck versus the eight and a half radius, the, the SE version is with the flat, more modern C neck, right? This is why I chose to go with the $2,000 Ibanez Prestige over the Charvel DK24. It wasn't that it was a bad guitar, but the feel was different, the quality control was different, and we're talking about an instrument that I wanna keep for life. The other part is inspiration. Inspiration matters in all walks, all seasons of your musical journey, but they matter in different ways. So as a beginner, inspiration matters in the sense of you wanna feel motivated and inspired and you wanna have everything working for you to push you towards learning because learning in the beginnings is the hardest because you're not necessarily invested all the way. Whereas an intermediate player, inspiration is important because that's the time for you to explore. And okay, you've learned the fundamentals, you've learned the basics. Now let's start a trying just a smorgasbord of everything to see what's out there, to see okay, hey, which direction do I wanna go? And then as an advanced player, inspiration is really important because that's, again, how do you explore and continue to reinvent yourself and grow and develop your sound? And that part, the signature sound is the end game, right? So the thing is, you never stop growing as a musician. And if you do, that's a bad place to be. And it's all about honing in on your signature sound, finding out who you are as a musician and being able to communicate that. Here's why gear matters. Certain gear allows certain workflows, which allows you to get what's here to here out in different ways. Okay, so I love the Nord keyboard specifically. Back seven years ago when I got it, Korg was out, I had a Kronos and it had a touchscreen. And I love the sound of the board, but I hated the interface. So I wound up getting a Nord because it was all almost one knob per function capability, which I absolutely love. I'm a tactile, hands-on kind of guy. You get other players who are more like preset players who are like, hey, I really don't want to change anything, but I want to be able to call stuff up at the push of a button. Nord's not the best for that, but Korg and Yamaha and Roland kill at that. So it's more than just raw sound, but it's also workflow. At the advanced level, workflow is everything. That is the difference between having an idea, getting it out versus losing the idea because you're lost in the workflow. So you got things like workflow, feel, inspiration, and overall, are you able to get what's in here out, right? So again, different kinds of gear is going to either help or hinder that process. So that's why people will use Logic over Studio One or Studio One over Logic, or while they'll have a PC over a Mac, or maybe while they'll have a digital keyboard versus having built-in sounds, hardware versus software. These are all different types of tools at our disposal that will either help us or hinder us. And since we all have different sounds in our head, that means we all have a different path to take. So I don't really get into the which gear is best debate because that's kind of a fallacy. It's what gear works best for you to help you achieve your musical goals and what you have in your head and get it out so that your listeners can enjoy you know, your gift to the world, so to speak. I hope this video was helpful. Please leave a comment below. I'd love to know your thoughts on the subject. Does gear matter? If so, why? If you wanna see that video on expensive gear versus inexpensive gear and to see does quality gear have to be expensive, again, drop a comment below. Like, subscribe, share, appreciate the feedback, and I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, stay saucy.